Madam, we welcome you to Shakana Glasset Ministries. Please, could you please introduce yourself to the saints here present and tell us what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for you and your life. Good morning, congregation. My name is Gail Munyuku. I'm based in Deepbrook. I'm just here to share my testimony, what the Lord has done for me. Um, I came last week. Normally, I would um, connect via Zoom and pray and I fasted with the congregation. God has done wonderful things for me and my family. I've got a job that is paying very well. My brother as well. I was asked to pray for my family and my brother. Unfortunately, he was dead, but God was there for us. Um, he survived the steps. So yeah, I would like to thank all the prayers from the men of God, all the congregations. Yeah. <laughs> Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Sister, before we go any further, we want you to specify, you are mentioning two testimonies at the same time, so we want you to go through them one by one. You spoke of your, you getting a job after coming to Shekana Glasset Ministries and having God's protection bestowed upon your brother. So please just try to tell us one by one. Um, it was uh, on Thursday the 22nd, um, I was located via Zoom, then the man of God asked to talk to me and he asked me to pray for my family and especially my younger brother. Uh, by the God of grace, I prayed that night and I prayed and I asked God for protection upon us, that the blood of God should flow within us. On Friday, he had an argument with some friends and... Um, he got stabbed by the back of his head, some serious minor injuries, but we thank God that uh, he survived and he's still alive. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, the glory of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You, Madam, you began to tell us your testimony without telling us some of the challenges you encountered because we all know that before testimony, you must have endured certain challenges Hallelujah. So please try to tell us more. Yeah, I had a lot of challenges in my life um, regarding job. I didn't have a stable job. It was only just a permanent job that God blessed me. Um, hence, I remember, I'll just try to be quick. Um, I applied for more than two years where else I'll get um, declines, regrets from a lot of companies by the, God of, by the grace of God. <laughs> Uh, God answered me. God answered me that... Amen. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> so, when you finally came to Shakana Glass Ministries, please tell us some of the prayer points you were raising or some of the... What kept you... What kept, you motiv what kept motivating your faith to believe that one day at a time my testimony will surely manifest? Fasting and prayer and sticking to the word of God is, is the way to go. That's how I, I basically I meditated on the word day and night. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. So how is your situation now with regards to your career and everything? Wow, my career at the present moment is going to boom and I'll still come and bring more testimony to Shakana Glory Faith Ministry. Amen. People of God, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Our Lord is good and all the times. Hallelujah. So please tell us in few words, in few words, how are you feeling now that the Lord Jesus Christ has done all this for your family, for your brother and your career? Also, I'm excited. I'm over the moon, and um, yeah, I'm just grateful that God's favor has fallen upon us, and uh, all His mercies has fallen upon my family and I. And what is your promise to God? Um, I'll always stay faithful, and um, I'll, I'll always shumaye uh, vangeli to the people who, who want. God. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. So in your own words, please tell us your, or your own word of advice to those who are going through the same situation, unemployment, and having some of their relatives who are going through one challenges or the other. Please, can you please advise them? 
God's timing is always the best. Always persevere. Yeah, that's all I can say. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Sister, we rejoice with you and we encourage you in the presence of God to continue living your Christian life the same way you began it. And we continue to encourage you that as you continue to make God's word the standard of your life, better is not good enough, but the best is yet to come in Jesus' name.